This is the scene on La Palma where two new streams of lava pose a further threat of destruction and the erupting volcano forces more residents to flee. Now, it's now two weeks into the volcanic eruption on La Palma in the Canary Islands, and scientists say the volcano has got much more aggressive. There's thought to be little danger to life, though, after thousands were moved out of harm's way. They and the rest of the world can now watch safely from a distance as nature puts on a spectacular show. Chloe Keedy has more. As a cockerel crowed to signal dawn on the Spanish island of La Palma, its volcano was already wide awake. For two weeks now, molten lava has been flowing down this mountainside and it shows no sign of slowing down, stopping only when it reaches the sea. In the past few hours, two new vents have appeared. Each one is like another mouth, furiously spitting out fountains of lava and ash. More than 6,000 people have already been evacuated, including hundreds of tourists. Thousands more are confined to their homes, with others left trying to scrape away a carpet of black ash. This woman said the streets, as you can see, are totally covered in ashes this morning. More than ever, I think it's the most horrible day since the volcano erupted. We have to protect ourselves with hats, umbrellas, whatever, because your head, your clothes, everything gets covered with ashes. The volcano has already spewed out more than twice as much molten rock as it did the last time it erupted in 1971, and scientists say it's likely to continue. Because it's basically, um, you know, erupting along a, a, something like that looks like a crack, you actually get these sort of lines of different uh, small centres. If we look at historical eruptions, which are which are about as good a guide as as we as we have, most of the eruptions seem to be lasting between sort of one and a half to two and a half months, something like that. Tonight, the sky over La Palma is thick with black smoke. The volcano it is coming from may only just be getting into its stride. Chloe Keedy, ITV News. The volcano that's been erupting for the last 11 days on the Spanish island of La Palma is spewing out two new streams of lava, threatening further destruction. Many homes and crops have been destroyed and thousands of people have been forced to evacuate since the eruption first began last month. Dan Johnson is there. It seems like every day this volcano is producing more and more lava. There are new vents opening up, new ways for the lava to escape, and that means even more lava flowing downhill, putting even more homes and villages at risk. More than a 1,000 properties have been destroyed now, and this is in the area that has been evacuated. So there are homes here where people haven't been able to get back for more than a week now. People wondering whether they'll ever be able to come back and live here because nobody knows how long this volcano will keep erupting. You can see the sort of ash that has spread right across this area. It's really thick, coarse stuff that covers absolutely everything. At times you can feel it in the air, you can taste it, but it all depends on the changing wind direction, which areas are under threat and which areas are taking the gases that are escaping from there and also down at the sea as well because where the lava hits the water there is another potential for toxic gases there. You can see how powerful that volcano is, how much lava and smoke is continually being produced. Day and night this has gone on and people are wondering how much more is there to come. The experts think this could last for weeks or potentially months more. Dan Johnson there. Let's uh, just have a look at the live pictures from La Palma this evening where lava continues to flow from that Cumbre Vega volcano. Authorities are now advising people to limit time outdoors in parts of La Palma as the erupting volcano on the island is spewing red hot lava, thick clouds as you can see of black cloud above and over 6,000 people have been evacuated already because of the proximity of lava flows to their homes. Quite extraordinary images that we're still getting there from that Spanish island.